Hello world, hello world. Here's the one <laughs> from Belgium, from Ostende, at the seaside in Belgium. Uh, my name is Stefan Perceval and I'm like Anset uh, director and an actor. And I have also my own theater company called Het Gevolg. Het Gevolg is based in uh, Turnhout. Turnhout is a city in the north of Antwerp, if you know Belgium. Belgium is like a nut, and then you have uh, Turnout is a little little piece uh, in that nut. We have like uh, in Turnout forty thousand uh, people who live there. And um, what I do already for a very 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 long time, like for uh, now like sixty years, sixteen years, I work with uh, very vulnerable people. And that are people with a disability, people who live in poverty, uh, people um, who, who uh, ha hadn't had the chances in life uh, and they, they came in situations they, they didn't want to be in. And um, like six years ago, I became, they asked me to become uh, the, the theater director of Het Gevolg. And Het Gevolg is based in uh, Turnhout, like I told. And um, it is a very old uh, theater group. It's uh, 35 years now it exists. And it made, uh, uh, um, it made a lot of pieces for children. And it was very well known for that. But six years ago, it was like an artistic and financial disaster. And so they said to me, hey, Stefan, you work always with those uh, vulnerable people and uh, you're not afraid um, of going uh, bankrupt because my youth was, uh, I lived with my mother in uh, poverty and there they came and knock uh, every month on the door to get some money and we didn't have a chair to sit on. So yes, uh, I, 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 I'm not afraid of banks uh, calling me and uh, telling me names. So um, they, they asked me, hey, uh, isn't that something you can do? Uh, uh, put Het Gevolg back on the map. And um, I said, okay, it's good. And uh, I went on the streets in Turnout and I asked the people, Het Gevolg has really a physical building in Turnout, in, in the Otterstraat in Turnout. And I went on the streets and I asked the people who were passing by, uh, do you know what this building is? And it's just like a theater group who was like that in that time, uh, 29 years in Turnout and people, uh, told me no we don't know uh, there was one guy who said to me maybe it's a carpet store because there was a lot of carpet it, it was possible that it was a carpet store yes and uh, then I went uh, a, a little bit further in the street there was uh, an organization called the answer but Antwoord and they work with people who live in poverty and um, I, I asked them to set up a theater project. And the people there were very skeptic and they said, no, 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 theater, that's nothing for our people. Uh, no, 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 uh, it's art. Why, why art? It's not good. Uh, they, they need uh, food, they, they have to provide, uh, they have to look for a job, but not art. No, art is, isn't interesting. So um, uh, I asked a few people, can, can you come to the theater? And they came and it's for now like six years ago and they're still there. Uh, I have now a group of uh, 37 people where we uh, work, work with on a daily basis. They play in our productions and it aren't productions where they, the people come and see, oh, those poor people or those people with a disability or all those poor refugees. No, it are really productions. So we play in Flanders and in Europe because we came already also to Malta with uh, opening doors, uh, a group 
we have uh, with people with a disability and we uh, manage the Belgian part of that. And uh, we make really productions. So uh, we, we show them to a wide audience. We play 361 shows a year. So that's uh, a lot. And I call it uh, really the Champions League. It's the Champions League of the theater in Flanders. And that's where we want to go. And uh, we make productions, but we make productions from out of these people. So we, um, we don't have a scenario. We don't have a plan. We have just questions. And uh, like that, a lot of people come to Het Gevolg. Uh, 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 when people tell somewhere uh, uh, at uh, uh, the VDA Bay, it's the, it's the workspace in, in Belgium, and, and uh, they, they tell the word art, art. Then the VDA Bay says, ah, you have to go to Het Gevolg. And then they come in our place. And then a very important question I always uh, ask is, what's your dream? And they don't know. Mostly people, they don't know because we all forgot to ask this question. We uh, hardly say hello. So why do you ask me the question, what's your dream in God's sake? Well, and um, then they have to think about what's, what's their dream. And then from there out, we work. And uh, the, they ask me a lot of time, what is the method you use? What is the method Percival? And I say always, there is no method. The method is that we listen to the people. We listen to the people and their stories. stories. And, and uh, stories or uh, situations they were ashamed about, that could be just their power. So I have, for, for example, I had this guy, an autistic guy called uh, Fabian, and uh, Fabian was, uh, he didn't speak, he didn't say anything, and um, they told me, yeah, Stefan, uh, he's very autistic, you can't do anything with him, he, he, he isn't able to speak, he, he can't move, he's very, very autistic, and um, uh, that was true. He didn't move, he didn't speak, he was very, very autistic. And then uh, I asked him, hey, uh, why don't you speak? And after 10, 15 minutes, uh, he told me very, very quiet, my father is dead, man, papa is dead. And that's something we all understand, that you've got so much grief, you can't talk anymore. And the next day I asked him, um, what's your dream? And we talk about a guy who was in, edu in education in the, the lowest part of education in Flanders. He was with the disabled people. And, um, I asked him, what's your dream? And he told, still very, very quiet, I dream about the stars. And his teachers told me, hey, he's speaking, he's speaking. And I said, yes, he's speaking. And I went with him uh, uh, for long walks and I asked him to search for texts, uh, text parts or about the stars. And this guy who was in the lowest part of education in Flanders came with uh, Wikipedia and Google pages full of stories about stars and the moon and Venus and Mars. And um, this guy, he uh, made a performance, a monologue. He played two times in the single in Antwerpen. And it's one of the biggest art houses in Flanders. Two times, 800 people attended uh, this show. And afterwards, his mother said to me, hey, thank you, you gave my son back to me. Uh, that guy, and that's why I tell this story to you, 
uh, that guy uh, phoned me uh, uh, last summer and he said, hey, Stefan, do you remember me? I am, I am Fabian. Uh, I was this autistic guy. And I said, yes, I, I do remember you. Uh, you have to know that I got my master degree uh, at the University of Eindhoven now. And he, he said, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to the story behind my wall that you didn't sit like all the other people say, okay, uh, he's disabled, he can't speak, point final. No, no, arts can look behind the wall. And that's what we do in Het Gevolg. People come to Het Gevolg, a lot of people come to Het Gevolg every day. And uh, if the, the work uh, uh, organizations in Flanders say, oh, uh, we have problems with those people, they ask me also, Stefan, how do you do this? Uh, this guy, uh, we are trying him to, to get uh, a job already for 15 years and you have a performance in uh, somewhere far away and they have to be uh, uh, at five o'clock in the morning at the bus stop to go to the show and they show up. How do you do that? And I tell them it's because they can tell their story. And that's what we have to do with art and that's what we do in Flanders, in Het Gevolg. We listen to the story of the people. We use those stories as a humus, as a, uh, something they can perform with. And now those people, they say also, hey, if you have a problem and, and you want to tell those, that problem to an audience, you have to go to Het Gevolg. And now Het Gevolg in Turnout is very well known in Turnout, in Flanders, in Belgium, in Europe, and now in the world. 